Do you want to be my support? <gasps> support? That's oh. adorable! If I was raised by a mouse, I would be exactly the same. Pikachu! You described the t-shirt. Beloved, vintage, smells like heavy metal, concerts, and burning sage. The police officers are super concerned. Did you say this was a flea one back t-shirt? Oh god. And it was vintage? Oh god. This is serious! We're assigning our best detective to the case. Oh, this is... Yes, yes, this is me, Detective McMoody. Oh god. You there, punk person, Detective McMoody, FBI. Stop right there, hand over the Fleetwood Mac t-shirt, and we'll escort you to prison. Ooh. Wait, are you implying that I'll be taken to prison for stealing a single t-shirt? My god, criminal justice system is even worse than everyone says it is. Um, ain't that the truth? Oh, well, you're going to prison because you mind control Philadelphia. And you keep dissolving humans in your bug venom. But shirt stealing is also a serious oh crime. Oh my, yes. Your human jail will not hold me, McBooty. Tell it to the judge, Buggy. Buggy. This has been joyful. That sounds racist. Okay. You aggressively splash in the lake and laugh as loudly as you can, hoping the clouds will give up on trying to ruin your day. Instead, the lake gets struck by lightning. <laughs> because the louder you laugh, the better the day you have, right? Ha ha ha! When you wake up from the electrocution coma, you're on shore. The sun is shining and you have a cool new facial twitch. You win! You gain two- Oh, that was easy. Afterward, you're very busy making a friendship bracelet, but spooky. When you see a Ravi power walking through your location with a look of fierce determination in her eyes. Any loot around here? <laughs> yeah, I got some loot okay. right here. <laughs> okay, I slew the dragon of Danger Mountain, found the incredibly rare ruby that somehow grows inside a tree, but only during the eclipse, and only if you've leveled up. And I cleaned the Asian stables, and picked up wizard farts dry cleaning. What's next? Wizard farts dry cleaning? <laughs> huh, sounds like Aravi is having quite the day. You ask her why she's doing all of these random tasks. Come on, Aravi. Ah, oh, don't get me started. She's doing side quests, helping everyone fight their enemies or find rare items. But she can't take the five minutes to find me a pizza for my side quest? I already told you ordering a pizza isn't a quest, with a high enough XP reward. We'll do that after I do one last real side quest for the day. Real side Nothing quest? Yeah, together. okay. <laughs> Want to come along and help out, Moving Mouse? Two heads are better than you one- You just finished saying you were a lone wolf. How does this make mm -hmm. sense? And Hex is also a head. Hey, I thought I was your second head. I'm even keeping track of everything like you asked. Unbelievable! Oh, great! Let's see what I have left to do. Robert the Robber should date Thomas the Raccoon Landlord? Oh my Hex, god. These are just shipping charts between all my side quest prospects. What? What's your point? My point is a list of who should fight and who should have sex. <laughs> <laughs> and a flowchart of love triangles does nothing for me in terms of figuring out my next move. She has Did a point. Somebody say pizza? Well, all those side quests do nothing for me in terms of finding me a pizza, so I guess we're even. Luckily for Ravi, evaluating bonkers courses of actions based on what stats they'll give you is practically the only thing you do. Looking at Hex's notes, it's immediately clear which side quest will unlock the ultimate goal, making Ravi smile. Help the local mayor to open a TikTok account so he can bond with his teenage son. Collect 10 turnips for the town's guards who's totally not using them to pleasure him. Oh god. Yikes. So okay. I know I think I should collect 10 turnips. Oh, you know that? No, I, I, I'm, I'm just guessing because it sounds like a quest and not like the stupid TikTok account, right? Yeah, so bold. Let's go. Yeah. There's an awkward yep. silence and you wonder if maybe you overdid it by adding the not using to pleasure himself part, which they all seem to realize meant he totally was. This will be fun. I live for the scandal of it all. Guard X turnip, OTP, let's go. Free XP forever. As long as I get my loot and XP. Um. It's easier just to assume it's innocuous. 60 are here, five apples there, two gallons of lube and a leather mask, a dragon, uh, you know, just normal oh, stuff. Oh, wow. That's normal <laughs> stuff, sure. <laughs> all right, all right. <gasps> Roger, let's go collect some turnips. For stew, maybe? You agree to buy into this mass delusion and go get some very normal and non-sexual turnips. You give cheese to the psychotic hog who tells you how to fight the guru in the dark, before giving hot cocoa to the snake for a back rub, and somehow at the end, you have like 600 turnips. The logic is convoluted, but it makes for a fun bonding adventure, and at the end of the day, you find yourselves presenting the blushing guard with a f ton of turnips. Nice. Don't worry, we don't judge. Which vegetables you stick up your butt is none of our business. Oh no, 
says the guard, looking mortified. When I said romantic prospects, that wasn't a euphemism. I just wanted to build myself a nice turnip boyfriend to go on- Oh, it's a- Okay. To go on dates with. The life of the town's guard can get lonely, and lately most social interactions just make me anxious. Good evening, turnip boyfriend. Don't you look dashing. Oh god. <sighs> Produce? For me? You shouldn't have. Thai food in a movie? I love to go. Oh my. Oh. Look at all those curves. Is he <laughs> talking for the turnip boyfriend too? You're so nice, Mr. Town Guard. I'll always accept you as you are, and I'll shower you with unconditional love and omega-3 fatty acids. I live for the plot twist of it all! Shockingly, I think the butt thing would have been less bizarre. Yeah. This is somehow actually pretty cute. They're a good couple. Yeah. Do you want to be my support? <gasps> support? This is oh! adorable! Hey, boy mouse. Since you're the one who suggested it, maybe you'll be my turnip date one Aww, day? That's adorable. Yo, man, I main support back when I used to play League. Not not by <laughs> choice, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not by choice. <laughs> the mere suggestion gives you turnip plus two charisma and turnip plus one wisdom, which thankfully work just like regular stats. Excellent. If I was raised by a mouse, I would be exactly the same. But that's you. <laughs> For those of for uh, those of you watching, no, I'm not using a voice changer. You can debate all you want. <laughs> rabbits? I think I would just have a lot of siblings. So you know when people have too many siblings? <laughs> yeah, and then you don't get any attention and then you're just really messed up and yeah, then you become a and YouTuber. Rabbits? <laughs> you spot a Ravi, Dahlia, and Calculester, but none of them are making out with you. This is an emergency. Wow. Priorities. Right. Some mooing mouse? <laughs> These nerds are all getting ready to raid a water dungeon together, and I'm using it as inspiration for my slam poetry. Yeah, normally I just solo it, but I hate water levels. <laughs> Back to basics. Well, as they say, teamwork makes the dream work. I am unable to dream, so teamwork is the best I can hope for. So broken! <laughs> I'm so excited to crush the monsters between my muscular thighs and inspire my allies with song! Introducing Dahlia Aquino, the Barbarian! <laughs> the Barbarian! I will be coming along as the party accountant. The IRS has very strict reporting guidelines for dungeoneering income. <laughs> and I'm gonna cause a bunch of problems. Can't have a dungeon without problems! Alright, let's get in there before my buffs wear off. I don't feel the same, Aravi. My buff never <laughs> wears off! <laughs> I'm so excited! I may even have to get naked at some point for tactical- Yes, <laughs> please do. Gah, treasure, adventure, tactical nudity. You've got to be a part of this adventuring party, but they've already got to such a strong crew. What role could you possibly fill in this water dungeon? How about the lawyer? <laughs> you have an accountant. What's a dungeon without a dominatrix? Oh, oh, I can get away with that. Oh, dominatrix no. is pretty bold. I have bold. And then the CPO sounds pretty smart. I'm not that smart. Yes, so fun. Yeah. It wasn't bold, oh, but it wasn't bold, but it was. Uh, it was fun. So it works out. Oh, all right. Excellent idea, Moink Mouse. That latex armor seems very waterproof. You're opaque. You're opaque. <laughs> what? <laughs> She's. Whoa. Have you always been this terrifyingly attractive? Okay, I'm gonna go after Dahlia. I'm gonna go after Dahlia next time we play this. <laughs> that whip looks like it has good D DPS. Yeah, that's exactly what you were gonna go for. I know what you're looking at, Aravi. I see you blushing. This will be fun. Well, what are you waiting for, Mooing Mouse? Let's get in there and top some creeps. You don't need to be told twice. You stride into the water dungeon, stilettos clicking on the stone tiles, and demand the water goblins worship you. The goblins cower, blushing. We're- Um... We're, we're, we're sorry for all this travelers we devoured. We've been so naughty. You magnanimously allow them to carry you to the boss room on their backs like the bad little horsies they are. Wait, <laughs> how did you tie him up so fast? He liked it. He wanted it. He tied himself yeah, up. Being king is such exhausting work, always making the decisions. He couldn't wait to have someone else take control for a change. You shock his nipples with a car battery. <laughs> <laughs> and how did you know he was weak to electricity damage? It's a water oh. level, they're all soaked. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I think Mooing Mouse just has a natural feel 
Please. Yeah, I'd say so too. Two hours and one and a half car batteries later, you're walking out of the dungeon with all the treasure you can carry. My word, I shall have to overclock myself just to count all these riches. Who knew Findom was such a lucrative field? My spank next oh, for the rest of the summer. How about you, Robbie? Oh my god, did I spank her too? I don't... I don't know. Oh, she's super horny. I can see inside her head. Yes! Shut Thank up, you. Ah, stop it, stop it, stop it! Aravi manages to distract everyone with a sudden burst of senseless violence, but you can see the lust in her eyes. Mm. Hers and everyone else's. You walk over oh. to find Damien screaming about something. Aravi punches him in the head until he shuts up. I love this dynamic. <laughs> they both seem to be in oddly good spirits. Uh, you need to get your anger under management. You should talk, Aravi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to see some of the techniques that my therapist helped me master while I was still doing regular sessions with- You mean you stopped Lame. going? But all these techniques are f***ing <laughs> stupid. Breathe in, breathe out. I'm breathing anyway. This doesn't help at all. Ah. <laughs> Cadmium. But stabbing the shit ah. out of somebody and pissing on their corpse is my zen. I thought she was gonna say you count to ten while stabbing them. <laughs> Do ten stabs. Ugh. Okay, one, two, three. Uh, fuck. What comes after three? <laughs> fuck. I'm too angry to think right now. I'm fuck. Hate math. I want to stab math right in its fucking face. <laughs> Let's start at the beginner level of not holding a grudge, not physically holding the movie, The Grudge. Condescending. Kind of <laughs> Hey, no way! I'm not giving up my copy of The Grudge! But why are you holding on to the movie? You don't even like that. The spark oh my god, it's a Marie Kondo <laughs> reference. Hey! Hey! Oh no. While you noobs were having feelings, I sold the DVD on eBay. I do kind of feel less angry, actually. Do you think if I sell more of my old sh I'll feel even better? Oh yeah, definitely. But only if you donate all the money to the Hex Needs More Bagels Fund. You three have fun selling Damien stuff online. You sell his Angry Bird plushies, his six-pack of Angry Orchard hard cider, and his copy of Rage for Xbox 360. I'm a pro camper. Damn, this really is cathartic. Heh, <laughs> catharsis. Especially since I started selling other people's shit that I stole when they pissed me off. Speaking of catharsis, if you haven't already, you should listen to episode one of the MooCast, labeled Catharsis and Pain. We like it. <laughs> yeah! Anger management. Can we do that now? Of course! You, Damien, and Aravi break into a stranger's home and start throwing their dishware on the ground and stealing all of the cash uh, in sight. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know, when I started making magical drinks, I never thought people would actually come to... Drake said? But hey, who am I to judge? Anyway, take a look at this one. Phobia. Oh, they're the little, they're the little, oh yeah. It's me, that's me. That's little me's. <laughs> yeah, little use. Quite appealing, um, right? Don't know if I would drink it. <laughs> okay. Uh, I feel like it's bad, so I feel like I don't want to drink it. Okay. Should I just do it for the heck of it? Uh, that's up to you, man. <laughs> the mystery box? So bold of you. <laughs> Hope you're happy with it. No refunds. <laughs> AB blood. Hello. Right, I'll take it. Imagination shots. Drinking this will expand your mind. It's pure creativity. Oh, I got lucky. <laughs> yeah, I see. The small unicorn is just decorative, but you can eat it if you feel like it. I like straws. Yeah. I like straws too. AB blood is not exactly a drink, but an experiment I'm conducting. I try to take blood from all of your friends using magic beads, then I transfuse it to you. If the spell works right, you should absorb a bit of each stat from oh, everyone. No. Yes! <laughs> nice! Oh, no. Wow! Oh, no. Hope you can stomach that. Happy trails! <laughs> oh my, who is that? Joy, my old flame. My most powerful nemesis. The seeing you feels lust. Him with blinding rage. Oh god. <laughs> my goddess. Oh goddess. Burp, this is Salome, my ex girlfriend. Salome, what are you doing here? Gosh, she's really been we around, eh? Ages ago. I'm filled with horny jealousy. Joy. If you wanted to have crazy hot lubed up rebound sex with an ex lover, why didn't you call me? We were electric together, honey. Prepare yourself for. This foot massage coupon helped Joe vanquish her evil ex girlfriend by choosing the least horny coupon. And I love Exopia. Yeah. So <laughs> I gotta go with that. So fun. <laughs> that coupon is the most useless one in my whole collection. You grab the right leg coupon from Salome and pull out the coupons your grandpa left. Oh you. god, do you actually have them? This is 
Trail oh away. my god. <laughs> in the heart of the car is in front of the four legendary Zodiac ones. We finally have them. All five pieces of Exodia. Dan Green would be proud. <laughs> Wait, no. Burp, it's too dangerous. You have no idea what you're doing. Man, this episode has been wild. Frog's Hama managed to summon Exodia, and I single-handedly defeated an underwater dungeon by being a sexy dominatrix. Sorry, Miranda. This camp's become a real trip. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you want to see more of Monster Camp. And let me know down in the comments if anyone needs a carry for an underwater raid. I might know someone. Hehehe. <laughs> Peace! Bye.